Hi all, I'm Jay Schomburg. Thanks again for attending our webinar today. We appreciate that. We got to talking afterwards and thought that there were a few things we didn't talk about that maybe would be of interest to you. One of which is the wireless probe that comes with the MetraScan system. Probe works with the C-Track the same way the scanner does, uses that same 600 cubic foot volume and has an accuracy of a thousandth of an inch over that entire volume. So let's say if you just wanted to take a few, few quick measurements, you might want to probe them rather than get out the scanner and do that. I'll show you how to do that real quickly. So if I want to take this flange here on the end and maybe measure the distance between the bolt circles here, we can do that standard in the, in the VX Elements software you can create basic entities. That's with the VX Elements software that comes with the system. So let's say we want to create a plane. So I'll pick plane and just pick three points to create that plane. And the system knows the vector of the probe, so it knows to offset that plane the distance of the radius of the probe here. So now that we have a plane, I want to create circles that are going to intersect on that plane. So I'll tell it circle and pick the plane that's going to intersect on and then just pick the three points to represent each circle and accept it and I'll see the circle appear as green. I'll go on to the next hole. Accept that. It won't allow you to take a bad point. I don't know if you noticed I got a little bit different signal. If I'm moving the probe or if it doesn't have a great reading, it'll give me that warning signal and not create the circle. So here we have three good circles and now we want to go into our basic entities and take a measurement distance between the two. So we'll tell it's a point to point distance between circle one and circle two, create that and between circle two in circle three and create that in between circle three and circle one and create that. And then we have those three distances pretty quick and easy. One other nice feature of this, uh, you can also create in addition to all the other prismatic features that you see there, we can create a polyline. So if we want to create a stream of points, we can just put the probe in a streaming mode by holding down the probe in polyline. And as we move over the part, it will create a point and a polyline at whatever distance we tell it to in our options menu. So just a couple other features we wanted to show you. Thanks again.